This video will be a brief overview on how to use Jack Trip as the go-to software, open source, free software, high quality audio, very low latency. This is being used by mu music universities to uh, have concerts with each other at different geographic locations. They use Jack Trip to connect one studio to the other using uh, the software Jack Trip and the operating system either Linux or Mac. Windows, uh, sometimes you can get it to work, uh, but it's uh, much easier to do with Linux or Mac. I'm using Linux here, Mint 17.2. We're using the Carla Jack Audio Connection Bay from KX Studios applications for Jack Audio. So basically we have set up on my computer here three Jack Trip servers. We've offset, offset the port by 10 each. So it's a very simple command with the dash O, the letter O, and then a number. So for this one would be dash O10, dash O20, dash o30 and it's very simple command structure you just put jack, jack trip dash c the IP address of your computer that you have set up these servers or your DNS address and you have to port forward the range here between 4464 and then however far you go up as far as your offsets I've already have three servers here set up with a jack trip dash s dash o10 and dash o20 dash o30 on each respective instance of it and i'm also using redundancy so i'm sending three udp udp packets to each per each of the callers and i've also asked them to do the same thing to use the dash r3 command so they have three packets for is the duplicate packets so that if one gets dropped you still have a chance for the the uh, two other ones to uh, to reach the destination and it'll prevent a lot of the audio pops and clicks or dropouts and the bandwidth isn't that much it's about 600k for dash r3 to each caller from me out and from them in so just a few megs a, a couple megs up or down so if you've got three or four megs up and you know something like that down you you should have enough bandwidth so we we've already got three remote callers that I've set up examples of remote callers we have on jack trip 1 this Kirk Harnack your host and glad to be here this is episode number 277 and uh, this week in Radio Tech podcast is an example of uh, some male voices and how they sound over Jack Trip. Here's some music. And here's some female uh, voiceover artist. You prepare your demo, and uh, I'll see you next week on the Inside Voice Over E newsletter. Thanks for being a subscriber. And all three of them sound excellent. One unique thing about using Reaper as the mixer is I'm able to apply a, a few effects. So for the first jack trip, I'm using an AGC circuit called Loud Max. So let me bring this up again. <laughs> Just for those who don't think it's true, I do have it here. The, it's the bottle. Oh, there you go. It's important to show proof. It's credibility. Here we go. It goes right in the camera. Is, here is, you is have it. One thing I like about this AGC is you may get a little bit too much variance in low volume and high volume. And this Loudmax will keep it at whatever you set it. And then whatever the range is, how far down you want to go. It goes down to minus 30 dB. And it will bring that amount of volume up to wherever you set it here. So in this instance, we've, we're trying to make everything come out of there at minus 12. And I find that very helpful for uh, people that talk in and out or too loud or not loud enough. And, and I found this very helpful. It doesn't affect the audio quality and it's stereo as well. 
And so this is one of the most useful plugins I've I've used. It'll be in the show notes if you're interested in that one. Now on the female voice, we've also applying are applying some effects. We have a 12 band equalizer, we have a de-esser, and have a noise eliminator. So I'm going to let her play for a while, uh, let her voice sound through, and then we'll take these in and out and see if you can hear a difference. We still need to understand because in real life, people mun mumble, mumble and stutter and have heavy accents, and this won't work in voiceover. We have to understand what you're saying, otherwise people won't buy the product. So, so I th thought that was a significant in increase in the fidelity and certain spectrums, and you can dial this in however you feel that you should, but if you can't or are not able to help the caller, call, the remote caller, to adjust their microphone or their EQ, and you can adjust it here using this application. Now I want to show you the noise filter here. Without it, there's a little bit of hiss. Producers, casting agents, and all the people have finely tuned BS detectors, and the audience does too. So when you voice a spot, you have to be totally convincing and really come across as if you really mean what you're saying. Because if you sound... So you may have been able to hear the pss, the hiss when I took this out. This is another uh, plug-in that is installed when you install Reaper. And I have it in the subtract mode. And I just ran my own EQ at the bottom here. Didn't want to really affect those frequencies. I was just trying to get rid of some of the hiss. But it still lets the frequencies go through anyway, but it just really helped to get rid of that that noise and that background noise. Then I also have a de-esser here. Several pieces of copy, listen and take note for clarity and the cleanliness of your speech. Uh, if you have excessive mouth noise and pops, these can be caused by a couple of different factors. So that helps just a little bit to take the edge, the razor edge off of some of those S's and those sibilants. So I found that to be a very useful plugin as well that is, again, installed when you install Reaper. So Reaper has all three of these ready to go. Very useful. So as far as the wiring goes, we have what you're going to get from the caller coming out to receive. I go into the mixer, and you can use a recorder like this, or some other like Audacity. Or you can even use Reaper. Reaper has its own recorder. So I'm taking my microphone. I have one plug-in that I'm using. And I found this to be a very good compressor limiter as well as a noise gate. That's one of the best I've used. And this will be in the show notes. And it goes right into the Reaper file and it will recognize it as a JS plugin. So that's what I'm using. And I go into Reaper and then of course that will be the out of my microphone and as you can see I have both channels going to all three callers. So on the first caller coming in we want the other two remote callers to be able to hear them so this is caller one, so we want two and three, so let's take a look at this. So we have out. So as you see, can see, it's going to jack trip one and jack trip two on the left channel. And the same thing for the right channel. But we don't want to bring it back to the input, otherwise the caller will hear their own voice. So this is one way to get your mix minus adjusted. And it's real easy here with this mixing and yeah, the Carla jack connection, audio, audio connection kit bay, connection bay. And then for this second caller, which is using four and five, five and six, I mean. So the first one was three and four. Now we're at five and six inputs. And then the, they're out, as you can see, it's going to caller one and caller three. And there's the second channel, but not back to itself. Again, that's the mix minus. So same thing for here now for the third caller coming in. It also goes to the caller one and two. So you just have to highlight
click, hold, and drag, and then it'll reconnect it. Or it will connect it to wherever you want. Very useful. If you wanted to, you could bring in your own browser audio from a, or a desktop audio from a media file player. And you could also take that to the inputs if you wanted. I'm not doing that at this time, but you could take your audio from your computer station as the podcast host and send it to all three callers. And they would be able to hear anything that you hear on your own computer. And I think that's basically the setup here. The operating systems that work best for Jack Trip are Linux and Mac. Windows has an old version, but I have, I have not been able to get it to work on my two Windows computers uh, yet. Some people have, but it's, uh, it seems to be difficult. But on Linux, it's very easy. It's just strictly uh, once you've installed it, and you have to be able to install from source. So a little bit of a learning curve if you're not familiar with doing that. But here's my server up here, my server command. And the offset is 20, and the redundancy is 3. The redundancy really helps as far as uh, packet routing and the internet conditions. So if you drop a packet here and there and you only have one packet, no backups, you might get a drop out in the audio or a pop or a click or something. So to reduce those, according to your bandwidth, you can re send redundant packets for all the audio streaming as a server. So I did that same command all three times. There's the uh, offset for 30. And this one it doesn't show up since we had uh, some delays going on. You can just ignore that uh, for the most part usually while it was waiting for a client. And this is my USB microphone command. That's how I'm able to get just a spare USB microphone that I have. And that brings it right into Jack Audio as the USB mic right here goes into the first channels of Reaper and of course then out. It allows me to apply this one plugin that I like. I could also do an EQ as well, but uh, for this video I didn't want to do that. And we also have a breakaway RTA meter that works. Since we're sending everything to the Pulse Audio Jack source, this is the default setting for the wave in. So any audio that comes in here will be reflected here in these meters. And you can see we have a EQ and a scope. And you can uh, Bring some of these up depending on how big you make this. So there's uh, one size. And it changes, uh, changes a lot as you move it around. So there's another view of it. So you have a VU meter on the top, graphic equalizer, and you have a scope to kind of see what's going on. I found this a very to be a very useful app. It helps you keep a check on the audio uh, visually as well as audibly. Reaper is just using the ASIO driver, the the one that comes with the Wine ASIO and Cadence is a, one of the secrets of this. So we're using Wine ASIO and we just have it at eight inputs. And this is what we have here. A little bit of a setup. I'm using a low latency current. You're in the audio group. Here's the configure. Uh, right now I'm using 512. I can usually use 256, which will give me lower latency, but 
if you're doing a lot of stuff on there, it's better to have a little bit of latency that you can deal with and get less pops and clicks and uh, X runs. Every time you get an X run, you're going to get a little pop or click unless it falls in between the actual audio output. And that's from KX Studio. Falk TX, thank you. And I think that's just about all I wanted to show you. Uh, the main emphasis here is using Jack Trip. It's worth the learning curve, and there'll be some uh, links in the show notes to help you get this set up on your computer too, and give it a ch give it a try. You can also have your uh, remote caller use a live CD if they if they don't have Linux or a Mac, and the live C li the live CD will be able to let them load it on their computer, and you can kind of coach them on how to uh, activate Jack Trip from the live CD. And that's, that's kind of a neat uh, way of doing it as well. It's going to be a learning curve if they don't know it, but if you're already a Linux or a Mac person and you use Jack Router, you're in good shape for Jack Trip. It's in the repository. I've downloaded the source code since it's a newer version, and there have been some improvements use the Jack Trip users Google groups you can kinda take a look at what the buzz is on that that'll be in the show notes too thanks again for watching and uh, give Jack Trip a try